bro bros! Welcome back! Tales from the Borderlands! We finally reached Old Haven where we are looking for power boxes. Uh, turned on two in the last episode. Uh, the city looks abandoned, but I'm hoping to find Claptrap from some, for some reason. If you guys remember Claptrap from Borderlands 2, well, you're gonna love him here too. Let's go back into the game! Find more power boxes! I'm looking for the third one. We should be a little bit somewhere. What are you guys doing? Hey, pal. Yo! So, what do you think's actually inside a vault? I don't know. I mean, maybe it's like, whatever you say you want suddenly appears. Yeah, but what if right when you get your wish, you trip on a rock and you're like, oh crap. Okay, my wish is to not go into a vault with you. This place is a nightmare. Could be worse. There could be zombie bandits hiding in the shadows. Yeah, I guess there's that. Don't say anything. <laughs> so how you holding up there, man? All things considered, I'm actually not terrible. Hey, that's great. I mean, for, for you, that's that's great. Thanks for that. I don't tell you often enough, bro, but thanks for your help. You're welcome, man. You're the best, man. I, I mean that. Stop. <laughs> Talk to you later, man. You know where to find me. Yep, yep. Hey, Larabot. Hi. 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 Okay, the third power box. Let's uh, find it. Uh, there was something around here as well. Uh, discoloration. Huh. The ground's different between here and here. So maybe the power box is on the ground? Perhaps? Perhaps, perhaps. Ooh. Something over here. I can feel it! I can sense it! Maybe I should look on the other side and... Yeah, there's definitely something over here. Oh, come on! I can see it! It's going underground? But the arrow right freaking he oh able to see that earlier. Hello About all doll was good for, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Power cord. Ah, oh, great. Oh, for really on oh, my sock. This no, it's all. Uh, uh. Yeah, you'll get over it. <coughs> I think we can see. Oh, I think I've scanned that already. Yeah. Who? I can scan my friends, or not. Won't let me? Come on! Where the hell did I end up to? Yeah, I'm trying to scan stuff, if you don't mind. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. Functional Hyperion research shows that Atlas employees also leave the refrigerator door open overnight. Aha! Is it also connected? Lovely. And. There! 
What did we do? <laughs> oh my god, really? Transformers? Oh, look at that shit! man come on let's check this out well 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 Reese it's Reese miss me are you done sure I mean are you done no cuz cuz <laughs> you see then, then what we wanted to do we, we, we uh, just yeah yeah I'm done. so anyway while they were off blowing it, we ran into some complications of our own. So while we were on uh, um, Old Haven, she went to Hollow Point. So if we chose to go to Hollow Point, she would be Old Haven, right? We made it. Do you think the guys will be okay? I'm sure they'll figure something out. Probably. But, um, the Badlands are practically a graveyard. I hate to say it, but they're not gonna last the night. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought. Between the exposure, the skags, and the psychos, I'd say they're screwed. They knew what they signed up for. Caravan like this. We couldn't help him if we wanted to. I hope he'll fix it. We're not exactly rolling in cash right now. How are you gonna get him to do it? I mean, I'm assuming it's not exactly a charity. And we definitely cannot get out of here if we don't get this fixed. Oh, please. This is me doing this. Nothing I can't handle. Okay, don't get too cocky. We'll figure it out, don't worry. Stay here. I'll do the talking. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, let's do this. Um... Bunch of stuff here. Nice music. Can I turn it off? Oh yeah. You could do that for copyrighted music, girl. Not just now. Ooh, loot container. I'll help myself. Leaving me out like this. I almost feel sorry for the poor sap. Almost. Somebody looking at me. Ugh, does every mechanic have to be gross? No, uh, this is actually cute. Alright, uh, carry the three to five by twelve. Oh, uh, what the hell, man? I gotta cut down my wrench budget. Uh, oh, hey, man, welcome to Scooter's Catch a Ride. What can we do for you today? Scooter, yeah. Oh my god. Uh. Sorry if I seem a little dis distracted. Uh, hopefully, handing this place over to the new proprietor today, and I gotta get all these numbers and stuff in order. No, it's a lot. I don't know if you know this, but the transition from small business owner to franchise owner is surprisingly difficult. 
Haven't seen this much paperwork since my aunt cousin tried to marry my brother, uncle, and she sued him at the same time. It was a Incest! Whole mess. Oh, this is a really nice looking place you have here, Scooter. Oh, thanks, man. It means a lot. Business has been a little slow so far, you know, being in a hidden Cape Town and everything, but I'll pick up. <laughs> Hope it picks up, though. Holy crap! I knew I recognized this rig from somewhere. You were in the latest Boston Over Death Rally. Oh, I was there, man. Did you see me? I was, I was waving. You were a badass. Oh, <laughs> yep, got me. That thing's beat up to hell and back, man. I could fix it, but it's probably gonna run you about twenty-five hundred cold. Twenty-five hundred? Uh, that's a little out of my price range. Not to be implied or nothing. But you must have won a buttload of money from that race, right? Where did it all go? Oh, cause my cousin, right? He said that his sister's friend's neighbor's husband won one of them races one time and the cats kept them fed for weeks. Of course, those days they were mostly, you, you know, the, the money. But, but still, it was weeks. Yeah, someone stole it. Can you believe that? Yes, actually. Yes, I can. Well, tell me this. You think you could ever see yourself racing again? Let me pitch you something, and it might be crazy. But if you keep racing, I would love to endorse you as a sponsor. What do you say? Um... It'll be great. Maybe like a billboard, a couple of commercials, product placement. You'd be huge. Tell you what. Throw in an extra thousand bucks, and you've got yourself a deal. Thousand? Whoa, man, that's kind of a hard bargain, don't you think? Call it a signing bonus. Oh, I, I don't know, man. That kind of thing makes me a little uncomfortable. Say it once for me, man, you know? The catchphrase? Catch a ride? You know what? Come on. Don't be shy. I'm your sponsor now. Gotta hear how you do the catchphrase. Go on, do it. Catch a Catch a ride. Okay, okay, <laughs> thousand bucks. It's yours, but you're gonna have to win, like, a crap load of races, all right? I ain't made of money, man. I'm thinking that we put a big old ad on your van, Woo! you know, like maybe a picture of me with, like, catch a ride up above it, you know, all cool, right? I'm looking all badass, you need to put some badass pictures of you with your car and your hat and all that. Hi, Scooter, right? What? Happened to him. Everything going okay? <laughs> I was uh, I was just gonna, you know, go grab the paperwork. Let me take care of that. Okay, bye. All right, man. Here's my standard endorsement contract. Don't mind the sub clauses about uh, explosions or whatnot. I might have copied it from Torg. Anyway, I figure as long as I'm in there and you're doing it for free, maybe you want to splurge and get some of the special packages. I got some good ones. And don't tell me you're broke, because I know you got that extra thousand I just gave you. Okay, got to ride. Ooh, my I know it's a big decision. You go ahead and take your time. A lot of good choices, I know, I know. Real classy ones, too. Sometimes I just stand here and... What the hell? Let's go over the whole nine yards. Oh my god, this is the worst. Come on in, man. We'll get her all hooked up and get to work. Oh. No, this is the old one. I'm sorry. I, I thought I was a finished product. Oh god. Oh crap. This doesn't look good. Hey, fellas. What can I do you for? Oh no. I just hope that little deal you two struck is enough to get him to look the other way. Oh, we're blown. We are totally screwed. Oh, that's great positive thinking, Fiona. Okay. 
didn't sell us out. Out of Tatum. Hope you ladies weren't too scared. Just doing my duty to keep ruffians the crap out of my garage. I'm a real protector type. Just all part of the service when you catch a r <coughs> Excuse me. Who were those guys? Man, just some wannabe tough guys trying to shake down a local business owner. You know how it is. Yeah, they looked pretty dangerous to me. <laughs> yeah, they probably could have killed me, but I look death in the face a lot. Like all the time. Like, hey, death, how you doing? No big deal. Seems like there's some bad men looking for you two, though. You got a place to lay low while I'm getting your ride all fixed up? I don't think Felix is as too far away. If we're careful, we can make it on foot. Then, let's do it. I still don't know what kind of ride I bought myself. Ooh, Salvador! Bandits. We shouldn't hang around here too long. Looks like he had company while he was away. It could have been Felix. Could be. Come on, look around. We gotta be in and out. Yeah. I got the door. Okie dokie. Let's find me some money. Maybe? It's empty. That's strange. The can's wet, but I don't see any paint. Hmm. Weird. He always complained about the reception on this thing. Right. A phonograph is more to his taste. If it's all the same to you, I could do without Felix's classical music right now. Oh, come on, why? Eh. I had to force this on him once his eyesight was starting to go. Yeah, stubborn as always. I couldn't even get him to stop using floppy disks. Oh my god, floppy disks, really? Oh. Oh, a photo. Who is she? I don't know. They look happy, though. Floppy disk. Felix's favorite chair. Those few times he felt he could relax, anyways. A comfort directly proportional to its wear. Homemade grenade. Interesting. What's that? A grenade? Yeah. Looks like another one of Felix's homemade projects. Well, let's take it. Your thing. That doesn't seem to have any. Wow, my inventory. My inventory is crazy. I have uh, <laughs> Reese's boot, Felix grenade. What does have eyeball? I'm. Oh my God! I'm keeping the eyeball in my inventory. Why? You are always a better shot than me. Man, it used to drive me crazy. That was a long time ago. Ah, memories, memories, memories. Um, I cannot open this, but it seems open to me. Not like I can use it, though. Hmm. All right. What didn't we do? Well, we're um running out of time, so um. I'll be pausing the episode right about now, and I'll see you all in the next episode of Tales from the Borderlands by Telltale Games. I've been Podigaki on the Casual Gamers Nest. Thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Don't forget, stay tuned, and keep on gaming.